Hello and welcome. Today is Monday, the 20th day of March 2017. Let's take a look at both the silver and Bitcoin daily charts. We'll start with silver. And the phase is still in the first down band correction, meaning it's the first time that within this particular downtrend that it is testing the 18 average as a level of resistance it has been doing such now completely for three days this being the third and it moved up to it on this green candle the first pop since the decline a little while ago so now that it's in this situation of declining a resisting area of the fibonacci level the first one as I've been stating before, any upper moves can come to this point. And because this resistance area has been established really well, no surprise to see a large size green candle to make its move towards it or do it in a day, probably within the day, a span of maybe only a couple or three hours or less. But as we're still in this point, any type of retracements can really work within two two levels. One, the short-term levels from this low and this high, holding 61.8% of it, making a higher low and moving back is a bullish situation. That would be one of them. But of course, on the bearish movement coming down and then of course not seeing these highs for a while and eventually breaking the lows is what you would expect when uh, a market's going to move into a lower low lower high format for several days if of course that's what it's going to do because it's really a newly formed bear market because of its one move large decline that will be the silver analysis let's now move this on to the bitcoin chart which uh, I've been hearing a lot recently or a little bit rather on a hard fork within Bitcoin. Very confusing subject regarding the uh, BTC and Bitcoin Unlimited, I think BTU. Maybe in the comments section of the people who understand such might be able to help out within it as all I can really talk about is market movement and the technical analysis in which I pretty much always talk about. And this phase of the market, silver is having its first down declining test of the band and the phase is trying to get there within this one. As uptrend, band goes sideways and now it's in the declining mode. So this is the first test, but it's got to come up towards... 1085 1090 at least for today it's got to make it to that point to have a move there but since this low has come into play the sunday session had a move coming up to this key fibonacci point and then retracing a bit a bit back and now it is moving back towards that level so this old move of uh this green candle and having some sort of little bit or no retracement here and this type of movement here it's a pretty strong format which is what we have right now with the last couple days these two together so it does look as if it's going to make a move up towards this band i think that uh, if it does hold any type of retracement like that that would be fine but at the same point because of uh, how these markets are moving a newly formed uh, bear market just like most of them when you're in the lower end of this range in here don't be surprised if market momentum continues hard and you get a decent red candle move of some sort of sort and that is uh, just I just got to mention that because it's definitely within possibility of the market especially with the hard fork subject that I'm in uh, still trying to figure out, and I'll continue researching throughout the day. Take care.